Hey everybody, it's Teresa here from Inspiration Cards and today I'm going to be sharing a fun fold card called the Cascading Display Card. It's such a fun card and like most fun folds I've found, it's actually a lot easier than it looks. So let's flip this around and I'll show you what we're making today. So here we go. Here is my first attempt at the cascading display card. So I've used smoky slate for my card base and the lights aglow designer series paper from the July to December mini catalog. And the stamp set that I've used is the Christmas Scotty. Such a super cute little dog. I'm loving this little guy. So here is what I started with for today's card. I'm switching up the colors and stuff a little bit. So instead of smoky slate, I'm using evening evergreen and I'm pairing that with the painted Christmas designer series paper that returned to this, this year's holiday mini catalog. And the stamp set I'm going to be using is the spruced up stamp set. Okay. So all the measurements, if you want to follow along, make your own, it's all right here. And I'm going to leave that up the whole time. So if you need to pause or zoom in or anything, feel free. So to start, I'm going to use the card base and get this all folded. As you can see, I've already got all my score lines in place. And so to start it off, you're going to want to fold in and make a bit of a Z fold. So you start with folding in and then along the outer score line, you're going to fold out towards the outside of the card and then repeat that on the other side. So folding in to start and then folding out to finish. I'm just using my bone folder to get that nice, crisp, clean fold. All right. So the other score lines that you're going to see just give a little extra um, touch to your card. So you can do this or not. It's completely up to you. I do have the score lines measured there. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure along that score line on the short side to that first score line on the long side. And then you're going to angle up to that top corner there. So where that next score line is. Okay. And then you're going to repeat that on the other side. So cut in to that first score line and then angle up to the top of your card. Okay. All right. So our card base is all set and ready to go. So I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm going to bring in the largest piece of basic white. So this is four by five and three eighths. Sorry, I don't actually have the measurement on there, so apologies. Um, and I'm going to add the strip of designer series paper first because I want to make sure I get my phrase in the right spot. And so this is just one inch, uh, one inch long and then, uh, or I should say wide, and then it's the same width as the basic weight, which I think is five and three eighths. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my stamp and seal here. Here we go. And I'm just going to lay that along the bottom here. Okay. And so for our phrase, I've actually been really liking, um, combining two of the phrases and I stamped them together. So the first one is the, whatever brings you happiness. And then right underneath that, and I mean right underneath that, I'm actually going to try and squish these together as best I can, is the may it be yours this holiday season. Just love that phrase. So I love putting those together on my cards. Just want to get that a little more centered. And again, just wanted to squish that together as much as possible. All right, now with Evening Evergreen as the card base, I'm actually gonna use Soft Succulent for this ink color. Just get a little more there. There we go. And then, so now that I've got that piece of Designer Series paper on there, I can actually center it right where I want it. Oops. All right, so I'm gonna set that off to the side to dry. And let's 
set that off to the side there too so I don't end up with my fingers in the ink. All right, and the two smaller pieces of basic white for your two smaller doors. So this is where I'm gonna add some trees. So I'm gonna start with some smaller trees in soft succulent. And then I'm gonna overlap with evening evergreen. Now, if you want, you can try it. You can you can do some masking if you want instead. Um, I'm just going to actually, because Evening Evergreen is so dark, I'm just going to stamp right on top here. And so this is going to be a little bit off the edge. Here we go. I'm going to kind of have these on the outer edges. So it kind of draws the focus to the center of the card. So there we go. So there's our first trees. And then I'm gonna stamp the larger tree in evening evergreen. Okay. All right, so this guy, I'm just gonna angle him a little bit on my block. And just press that firmly down so he sticks nice to my block. All right, gently tap that stamp onto your ink pad, making sure you've got ink from the trunk to the top. And there's not gonna be a lot of overlap. This way, with that darker color, I don't have to worry about, about anything. There we go. And you know what, even with the tree, right? When you're looking at the, the trees, sometimes you can actually see, right, the other trees through the branches of the others. So a little bit of that overlap works out just fine. All right, and that's gonna go right there. There we go. So we've got our own little forest going on here. All right, so I'm gonna set these aside to dry. And now we can get to sticking our pieces together. So there are the two pieces of basic, um, basic white, of evening evergreen for our smaller doors. So for, to start, I'm actually going to add the painted Christmas to our two larger doors here. So I'm just gonna center that, get that nice, even border around the edges and again one more time there we go and then so to create the cascading display effect you'll need those two mechanism pieces so they'll look a little bit like this right with your two score lines down the middle and just kind of like you did with your card base, you're gonna turn these into a Z fold. So you're gonna fold one way along one of the score lines, and then you'll fold the other way along the other score line. That gives you a bit of a, a Z. Okay, and then you're gonna just repeat that on the other piece. There we go. All right, so that's gonna give us our mechanism to open our card. So these guys should be good and dry. So we can add these to our two smaller evening evergreen doors. And again, same idea like with the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper. Yourself that nice even border around the edges. And one more time, there we go. All right, so we've got all our doors and we've got our card base. So before we put it all together, let's add the inside of our card. Now, if you wanted, you could cut another piece of basic white the same size as this one. 
um, if you wanted a little more room to write a note. We tend to keep our cards pretty simple. Um, and so we don't usually put a lot of room to write in there. Sign names, maybe a little something else, but we keep it pretty simple. All right, so there we go. And I'm gonna grab my tear and tape here. When I do cards like this, I like to get my tear and tape because it's, it's just a little stronger than um, the usual, like the multi-purpose glue, although that works pretty good too. Um, or you could always use the Stampin' Seal Plus. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna line this up right along the edge. And I'm just gonna eyeball that a little bit here. There we go. And just press that firmly onto the cardstock. There we go. And I'm just gonna line that up along the corner here. There we go. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You're just gonna flip it around so that your your other Z fold folds outwards. Okay. And again, so making sure your mechanism folds out and then align that up along that bottom corner. There we go. All right. So for our larger drawers that are going to go on the inside, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you add your adhesive to the base, not your doors. Okay, because otherwise you might accidentally add some adhesive where you don't want it and then you won't actually be able to open your card. All right, so that's going to go right in there, right against that fold. And then same thing. So on the card base is where you want to put your adhesive and then slide that door right into the edge, right into that fold. There we go. So we have the beginnings of our cascading display. All right. And so on the outside, same idea. So you're going to add your smaller doors, but again, you're going to add your adhesive to the mechanism, not the door itself. Okay. And when you do this one, you're going to want to align it up with the outer corner. Okay. Not with the mechanism itself. And again, that's that's partly why it's super important to make sure you put your adhesive on the mechanism. If I put it anywhere else, again, right, I might not be able to actually open, although that might look really neat, uh, open it the way you want it to open. Right, and one more time, so just close that up, line up your corners. And there you go. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's fun fold card and I'll be back each week to share tips, techniques, and different fun card project ideas. So I hope you'll like this video and subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, you can check out my other projects on social. You can find me at Inspiration Cards on both Facebook and Instagram. And of course, if you ever have any questions about Stampin' Up! or scrapbooking or paper crafting in general, I'm happy to answer any and all of your questions. So drop one in the comments below or you can email me at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.